Now this is pretty cool. It's Mercedes 308D with the 2.3 diesel engine. This has been owned by the council from you. It's been used as a mobile workshop as kind of support vehicle, I suppose. I mean, I've not had many of these. Reason being is because you can't traditionally find them um, in a serviceable condition from this age and with good mileage, but this one ticks all the boxes. Really clean and dry. Engine bay, scuttle panel. Really, really good. In fact, the only place where I can see where it needs welding is on the driver's side door. And that was probably put down to with it being a low mileage vehicle. I imagine the driver's got in and out quite often. Um, and that has just resulted in that door just falling to bits. But these skins are available online. So it's just a case of chopping and replacing. And it's as good as new. <clears throat> It's just a really nice original vehicle that hasn't been messed with, like, i.e. passengers putting feet on the dash and all that sort of stuff. But it's a drive to Africa kind of vehicle. Forty-five thousand six hundred and fifty-two miles. Five-speed manual box. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. <clears throat> as you can see here as well, it's three and a half ton gross weight, so anyone can drive it. This here is your replacement for the toilet. I'm gonna key with that. I'll just knock this off. You got your 240 volt hook up there. Looks like there's an extraction fan in the ceiling there. I believe that's where the toilet's located, so that would make sense. Tow bar on the back. And I imagine it's just ply lined out, no insulation behind it. Um, but hey, let this light off. Okay. So there's a Wabasu diesel heater down there. Looks like there's an outlet for it here. And there's another one that distributes down there to the, to the end. Microwave. This is kind of exciting because that attaches to the <coughs> to the side of the vehicle and it's this sort of additional room kind of structure. Um, fridge, a bit of a seating area. Uh, I mean, a vehicle of this quality, it warrants ripping everything out and doing an awesome job converting it in my opinion, but if you wanted to reuse some of this stuff or indeed use it as a mobile workshop, it's worth me talking you through these items. That there is for the outside sort of additional room, hand wash and just a toilet. There's two 40 volt outlets everywhere. Looks like the leisure batteries have been removed. So imagine the extraction and uh, the lights at 12 volt. Morning, and that's where the additional room is. I've never, I've never put it, put it together. Um, I would love to put it together. I imagine it's going to take a bit of time, uh, which I don't have just at the moment. But I would like to do that. So yeah, in conclusion, a really nice old original Sprinter. Good mileage, great scope for a conversion. Really happy to have this in stock. Awesome. If you have any questions at all. Please give us a shout. Um, we haven't tested it or serviced it yet. We haven't really done anything to it. Probably benefit from a, uh, from a service, of course. There is, a, there is a service history with this van and we will be supplying it with a 12 month MOT. So yeah, hope you like it.